today's episode of Impossible Fucking Task. <laughs> So in today's episode of self Paris Challenge. Oh yeah, I got the Genesis simulator working on the DS too. Nice. Looks like fuck, I'm going camping next week, but I don't want to bring like my laptop and all this other bullshit with me. Fucking games on the DS. Desoldering is always fun. You never know if you quite get it or not. It's one thing about Nintendo. They got some good fucking solder. There's something probably in the design documents. Really like, yeah, we want that fucker to hold together though. And it's like you don't really end it. All the circuitry on these things are so packed down. You don't really want to go in there and fucking stab around with a soldering iron for too long. Just trying to get this switch off here though, it's not that big of a deal. The traces, the cut and the copper and everything I'll be able to handle it. That's not a problem. It's just little transistors, capacitors, and bullshit in there. Alright, I'm just gonna have to dismantle this fucker. I'll just get it the pins. I have a computer over there that has a completely blown out capacitor and the only thing that means is it has to warm up for a bit before you use it. stick with all it had. Okay, I guess the easiest way to do this is gonna be put a fuckload of fucking flux on there. Put a dab of solder on there and drop the, the uh, switch tip, tips onto that. Right? So I'd put tin both contacts, the, the wire and where you're gonna put it. Yeah. And then just melt them and stick them. It's already pretty good tin on there. <laughs> I think it'll go right on it. Alright kids, there's a soldering tutorial on how to fucking solder tins. This is, this is very important if you're going to be soldering at any length because it makes your job a hell of a lot easier and you don't have to fucking fight the whole, you don't have to fight the thing the whole time. Take your end of your wire, get it all twisted up nicely like it is there. Take a little bit of flux. What this does is this cleans the wire up. And actually, I see it turn like really, really, really shiny once I think, once I heat it up now. And we just tap that a little bit. Get started, and the solder just want to flow right into the wire. Tins. 
these are little fucking landing pads I gotta hit on this fucker too. You gotta get it at it the right angle. Basically what I wanna do here is I wanna make make my landing pad shape. that they don't connect. That's pretty damn good. This is why I use tin them because now all I basically have to do is touch that for a moment. It's locked in there. Should work. I should switch. I'm gonna be really keen if I could find the screws. <laughs> yeah, you might want those. What shall it be today, Game Boy Advance? Victory or defeat? We shall see. <laughs> That's so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> you want to know the retarded thing? My heart sank for a second because I thought the screen didn't light up and then I went, wait a minute. It's a Batarang Game Boy. The screen doesn't light up. <laughs> it actually has a, it actually has a visible LCD. It's got a little power light there. That is the most retarded thing ever. These things get like Nintendos. Straight up. They don't have as many connecting tags on them. It says, oh, there's something in there. Sure, you have the boss hide key. You can be like, oh, fuck, the boss is coming. <laughs> Chris, you realize the implications of this. You're gonna be sitting there playing along, and like you're just about to beat Ridley, and then some asshole like me is gonna come by and go. Yeah. <laughs> See, there's the right way to do it, and then there's his way to do it. <laughs> it's like the fucking Mad Max DS. Dude, it, we haven't even reached the apocalypse <laughs> yet. Like, you can go to Radio Shack and get parts. Twelve years after the end, and I still want to play Eye of Sorrow. <laughs> this is the man who will build a working Nintendo out of, like, fucking bamboo shoots and, uh, some cut-up soda cans and, like, a fucking rubber band. Yeah, we can hear it, but we can't see it because we got no backlight, buddy. There we go. Sort of. There we go. It's the Franken GBA. <laughs> I cannot believe you just did that. <laughs> I do it all the time. 